here at the Marvel booth here at Computex 2017 and you have some 64-bit ARM solutions right now. Yes, of course. We have the new generation of 64-bit based on our modular architecture. We have the Armada 3K, part of the Armada family. In this case, this is a dual-core Cortex-A53. Uh, yeah. Powerful solution, but low power, which can also run on battery, as we can see. Yeah, very compact. Very compact. It's a tiny package. And for the higher end, we have the our new family of 7K and 8K. Uh, all modular architecture. We are reusing the blocks of the uh, different elements, the application processor and the soft bridge. Yeah. So, uh, so you have a uh, you have this is 7K. Yes. And this is. 8K. The 8K, both use the same application processor based on a quad-core Cortex-A72 latest ARM technology and we were the first to the market with that technology. So it's not a big little, it's just focused on high performance. Yes, high performance and still the low power that you get with ARM processors. And we have our own goodies inside including the security offloader engine that gives you the ability to do uh, 5 gigabit of full duplex uh, encrypt decrypt. Uh, and networking function, of course, such as a 10 gig port. We have dual 10 gig on the 8040 and single 10 gig on the 7040. The 8040 runs up to 2 gigahertz and the 7040 up to 1.6 um, gigahertz. And, and of course, we have all the other uh, IOs that you need USB 3, USB 2, uh, SATA 3. PCI, PCIe Gen 3, and of course PCIe by 4, so this, SDR and MMC. All this now you are showing in real products. You have, uh, this is, uh, which one do you have in these? So we have the 8040 as a very powerful solution for uh, the business uh, NAS. That's this one? Yes. So this one you have in here, and you have a huge NAS in QNAP. 16 bay. 16 bay. 16 bay. And, and still affordable. All with 10G port connectivity, dual 10G port. Can we look the around? Back. Yes. So uh, right here you have uh, dual 10 gigabit. Yes. And another Ethernet and a whole uh, dual 10 gigabit here. 2.5 gig ports also. USB 3. Yes. And uh, 16 bay. That's crazy. That's crazy. And you have all this performance still with low power and all what you need, affordable, eventually, for the consumer and business market. No need for Intel. No. You do, and they're, this kind of product, they would want to have the maximum throughput, right? Right. And you're able to do that? Yes. Because you have, a, you, the chip is designed not just to be a quad-core A72, it has all kinds of networking stuff going on. Exactly. So how does that work, the networking? So we have the soft bridge, which includes all the networking functions, and we have a lot of elements inside in order to optimize, including the packet processor, and of course the software solution, which is fully upstreamed. It's all open. We have the open, the open SDK. You can get mainline kernel, which is running on top of these devices, mainline for the U-boot and UFI, and of course the open data plane uh, ODP package for the networking, for the user space networking, and DPDK also has an option to run uh, whatever solution that you want. So they can, uh, they have all their software solutions. Right. Just work. Yes. And how about this one? Which one are you putting in here? We use the 3K and the solution. Dual uh, core. Dual A53. core. Dual core. Cortex A53. Runs up to 1.2 gigahertz. Um, and I think the the interesting thing is you have all the ca all the capabilities of the high performance that you get with the latest ARM technology. You have the security offloader here. You have the networking capabilities and still it's such a low power that can even run with this mobile NAS solution by Hegvision. So this is Hegvision. Running on top of a battery. So this is a SD card slot yes. with a 240 gigabyte flash storage, Yes. USB host and Type-C. Is this also Type-C host or yes. Type-C slave? Both. Both. So the device and the host. So you can connect a Type-C hard drive maybe. Yes. And uh, you you push a button, maybe it just button, backs up. And back you, up. It can you can do you can you can define it by using the application to back up your stuff from the SD or from the USB, and you can stream the things uh, to the to the tablet. So it just plays the video over the local network, and uh, so you have all kinds of uh, software solutions built in. This is new shipping. Yes, just started the shipping, and the price is good. Maybe. You're very good.
very good price. So you can see the the, the video is streamed from the from the uh, Wi-Fi in this mobile NAS solution. So it says it says USB 3.1. Uh, it's the Type C. So Type C is 3.1. Uh, Type C is the USB 3. There are still some because it's a newly product. There are still a few errors on the box. Ah, there's some errors. Yes. But yes. there's uh, also uh, a USB what speed on this one host. It's not a blue one. So this is a USB 2 and there's a USB, T or USB 3 on the, on the, the OTG uh, USB 3. But USB 3 C. as a host also? Yes, exactly. Wow, so not just to connect to our computer. Yes, and, and actually similar to what we do on our community board. We have our community board and again we have the USB 3 and the USB 2. Both can work as host or device, depends on so the So you have this website called Machiat Bin. Machiato Bin is part of our Bin. coffee bean uh, community platform. We believe today that we need to create uh, platforms for the community uh, of developers or prosumers that want to create their own solution. For example, this is the Espresso Bin, this is the entry level. Uh, community platform that we have. Uh, but there's three Ethernet ports. Exactly, three Ethernet ports, one, gigab one gigabit uh, speed. Uh, we are using a Marvel switch inside. All the other elements that you've seen here are also using a Marvel switch or Marvel size. So these are total the solutions. Switch? The switch in, is here. That's the switch. And so switch here. And the SOC over SOC here. SOC there. What is this one? Uh, um, that's Something. The, uh, yeah. Yes, the memory. That's the memory. Can, you can put, uh, uh, in this case, this is a uh, one gig, but you can op also in a clamshell configuration create a two gig uh, byte uh, uh, solution. SATA? You have, um, you have the, just a second, here is the, uh, you have the SATA, of course, that's a SATA 3. You have the uh, mini SD card, and uh, of course, you can use the PCIe, the mini PCIe connector with the PCI Gen 2 and a multi purpose things that you can do whatever, like controlling, uh, I don't know, the garden lawn <laughs> watering or some, or create a home uh, router or an IoT gateway. For example, one of the things I've did, I've connected USB, simple USB uh, cameras uh, and use this as kind of a surveillance system because I've connected to this system and see the cameras. Um, that's one thing. We can run virtual machine on this one, a KVM, a few, more than one. And also this can become your media uh, solution at home. We put, you connect the SSD to the SATA 3 co connector and connect it to your home gateway or make it your home gateway and stream to all the television uh, that support LAN functionality at home. So this 4K chipset, movies. Uh, how long has it been on the market? Uh, we, all the all the family was announced in the last year. But it's been shipping. Yes, we have the for, different for a while already. For for a few months for 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 our customer, there are a few selected customers that already started the development something like eight months ago. We have the community board already shipping to the. It started at Kickstarter, and it's already have all the all the Kickstarter orders have been fulfilled. So how ready. many? It was lots and lots of yes. orders. Yes. And uh, this is a. Uh, First of its kind, cost-effective, high-performance, 64-bit networking storage community board is $49. No, this is the $49 this based on the 3K with all the capabilities. This is a powerful tool. You have the 10G files inside, and it's the 8040 with the quad-core Cortex A72. And in this case, this is a $350 board. So that's the the big chip. This one. And uh, let's go and check it out. You, you have it over there? Yes. All right. Let's go through there. So you have it right there? Yeah, so in Marvel we provide all the solutions that are needed. We have the networking, the Wi-Fi, uh, the storage, of course, on so most of the hardware is in the... Uh, that we use, uh, and of course the embedded processor. In the case, we took the two Macchiato bins. This is a really powerful uh, solution uh, uh, for the developer community because you can, even if as a startup, you can take this as a single board computer and do a lot of networking, create a lot of networking function, networking solutions. You have the virtualization that can run here. You have the networking function. In this demo specifically, we connect the two community boards through an access switch, a Marvel switch, uh, to two servers that are under the cabinet and all the traffic that goes from, from one server is being encrypted on this <laughs> Macchiato bin and decrypt on the other side after going through the switch. How much do you lose in bandwidth when you do the encryption decryption? 
So because we have a, a offload engine inside the silicon, we actually use a single core, which is utilized to something like 50%. And we reach the rate of 5 gigabit uh, full duplex of security, IPsec tunnel uh, running between the devices. So, so it's 10 gigabit ports, but you can run 5? Five. 5 or 10, we can do 10 to one direction. So if we do all the encryption from one side to the other, we can utilize the full uh, capacity of the port to 10 gig. So uh, this is 10 gigabit, dual 10 gigabit? Dual 10 gigabit and a 2.5 uh, gig port. Uh, three of them, or 2.5, just one. We have we have uh, three on the on the chip itself. Here we expose the for this community board. We expose one. One, and then uh, the three SATA. Three SATA, uh, Gen three, that are exposed again on the system. By the way, we could have exposed more. Uh, again, that's you know you need to eventually create something which is affordable and still uh, can provide any kind of a, a, a appliance or application that you want to create. It costs money to add stuff. No, it's not just like a fifty cent uh, buy the, port. Buy the three hundred and uh, again, this is a, a platform that we've created with our partners. Uh, in this case, Solid Run is the manufacturer of the board. In the case of the Espresso Bean, it's global scale. Uh, our partners are creating the boards. We plan to create more community boards as part of the coffee, coffee bean family. And in this case, you have the board, you buy the board, we have the site, everything is free. You access the site, you can download all the, in the, the specs that you need, how to's, or how to create different applications. Already a few application examples, and we had more. And of course, we like the audience that want to try, add their own applications, and you know, we will be happy to post them. This is 2017. Now everybody needs to get to 10 gig. Yes. In their home. Right. Right. Unless you're at Swiss or China or Japan, I think. <laughs> so 10 gig affordable, 350 dollars, very affordable, right? It's yes. the first time ever that people have access to this. Yes. And if you think, if you want the Espresso Win, which is one gig uh, connectivity with three ports of one gig, 49 dollars, you get one gig. You don't have any other single board computer in this price with the one gig port connectivity, SATA 3. Uh, amazing. And uh, people can buy this and develop and get to uh, imagine new devices. Let's go over there. Uh, just one second. Uh, Marvel is a leader in, in Wi Fi. And, and oh, so, some of, oh, sorry, I'm jumping, I'm jumping in. So, some of these devices have uh, uh, ARM processors. Some of these devices are using the ARM processors from our mother family, and of course, the Marvel Wi Fi and all the capabilities. So, but this Starry is. Starry Router, for example, a Star Station access point, very popular in the US with our SOC and the Wi Fi as a total solution. Lynxus as a free gateway. And all these are running. Uh, and these are running our Wi Fi uh, solution. And there's also even smart home and stuff. Yes, but, uh, you can see even the forecast on the other side of the wall yeah. with the Marvel watch. Right there, some Chromecast. But people can take the development boards that you have and come up with new ideas. That's what That's you want. That's exactly right? what we want. We are looking for, you know, in, um, new initiatives, uh, startups that want to develop on and enjoy the capabilities that you have today with ARM with the 64-bit era. Uh, and do awesome stuff like this. Exactly. I think this is a cool. power bank, which is also a storage device, which you can run, stream everything. So you can go to the beach, watch movies through Wi-Fi, and charge your tablet at the same time. It's a pocket NAS, pocket, pocket cloud, NAS, yeah. pocket uh, backup. Your on-the-go cloud, the cloud that goes with you, and charge nice. your phone. Affordable. And affordable. Nice. And then there's all these NAS, uh, and this huge NAS. I guess this, this is just you just. I mean, you've been in the NAS business a lot, but you're just starting now with this 8040, and this, the, a lot of things could happen with that. Exactly, virtualization, uh, which is happening in the NAS industry. Can this is the kind of new things that we can do, and of course, on the on the community platforms, we have all the uh, great things like Open NFV uh, and many others. And of course, all the acceleration can be done using the ODP, uh, open data plane, uh, networking solutions on top of the, that we have on top of the Akiato B. Full bandwidth, full performance, and available now. Yes. Cool.